Okay, custom hot rod, folk. This one reminds me of all the Ravel and Monogram hot rods I built as a kid back in the 70s. How many times has you as a kid built a model similar to this? <laughs> With the crazy, crazy zoomies or whatever that is. Header pipes. Brings back many, many memories. You don't get to see these very often anymore because, you know, they're relegated back to the 60s. Um, basically, early 60s when they were doing stuff like this. And uh, it's just unique and very cool looking. Hell of a vehicle, sir. Not mine. Gentleman's up front. Oh, the guy over there? No, okay, cool. The guy the gentleman right there. Oh, That's okay. His. Yeah, we're just... Yeah, I'm just, I just told him I'm going to do any shame. <laughs> Absolutely. Over there. Yeah. Uh, there's an old truck over there. Saw it. Yep. yep. Team bucket Ooh. truck with yep. skulls. Yep. Yeah, Thank you. Kind of looks like uh, take a picture of his floor mat. Oh, okay, let's see. The floor mat? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. All fired up. I like that. Yep. <laughs> Tweety! <laughs> you know, I like this because it reminds me of all the hot rod models I built back in the, as a kid. Oh, it looks like Ed Roth stuff. Yeah, Ed Roth. That's right. Ed Roth. Yeah. yeah. And there you have it, folks. Out of the mouth of the fans. Gauze Garage, Englewood, Florida, Cars and Coffee. Thank you.